Yeah, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Hypixel Skyblock and today ladies and gentlemen We are gonna be taking a look at one of the weapons that is from I believe floor 7 So yeah, this is gonna be the wither sword I believe yeah the wither cloak sword and then uh, yeah We're just gonna be pretty much taking a look at the ability of the creeper veil Which spawns a veil around you that grants you immunity for damage so I mean from damage so that is uh, pretty good. That's like the same thing as what's it called? I forgot what this other sword was called. The, the endstone sword, actually, that's what it was called. You know the ability that I had on it, where you can just right click and then uh, and then you can also just get immunity from it as well, like no damage at all, consume on your mana, and then you get damage resistance for five seconds. So. Yeah, that was uh, pretty OP back in the day when we used it during floor six dungeon runs. But yeah, they. Uh, <laughs> fix that now so you know well, that sucks dude doesn't work in dungeons no more but hey whatever man anyway so we got a replacement for it but i don't think it is <laughs> gonna be better than the other one because it costs 20 percent of your maximum mana each time you block a hit so yeah your mana you're gonna be <laughs> you're gonna be losing a lot of mana if you do not have a lot and i was thinking maybe this is a good mage weapon maybe you know but then i did go over to the end and then uh, like went up against like a whole on pact of a enderman you know just to somewhat replicate a floor six if i were to use this sword because uh well, once you do right click it by the way you won't be able to do any damage like so if we right click we get like a whole bunch of creepers here and then it does like some damage against some of these enemies as well so it has like a aoe to it but it's only a little bit of damage which isn't too much and then the other thing is that uh yeah we can't use our weapons at all to attack any of the mobs when we have this thing activated until we right click again and then we can hit them again yeah so that's the one downside that sucks about the sword but at least our ability so yeah, and then if we take a look at the damage, strength, etc. I guess normal stats. Uh, let's see. So, 482 in the dungeons, but 190 and then 130. Yeah, 135 strength. So, and then with that big, we got 167. 424 in the dungeons and then 195 crit damage. And then 50 regular with the uh, critical enchant, whatever. And then uh, we get some defense. So, I guess that's good if you're going to be holding this and using it for like extra defense. And then uh, using the creeper veil as well. Once all your mana is gone, so as the berserk, etc. You know, whatever. I mean, you can use this with any other class, to be honest. And, but um, if you're gonna be going up against like a whole on pack, <laughs> it's not gonna be good because your mana is just gonna be gone. I mean, I was gonna go into floor six, you know, and then just like go ahead and test it with the mage class and go up to the end and then do the first stage. But you know, we can already replicate that <laughs> either way. Actually, let me go ahead and uh, get myself the spirit scepter since i think that's the only one that gives us like the most mana right now out of the weapons in the overworld i am pretty sure but um yeah i mean damage wise strength wise with this cloak sword it is uh it's all right but i mean there's still the other swords for berserks to use instead so it's mainly just for the ability if you want to use this thing uh, instead of just like doing damage i mean sure it'll help out a little bit for sure uh, for like the damage wise and stuff like that, but uh, I think it's just mainly for the item ability of Creeper Veil. So yeah, look at these creepers. Dude. It doesn't consume any mana until you start doing damage, which uh, hello. <laughs> Why are you guys taking damage, dude? Are you guys stuck in the floor or something? But anyways, dude, let me go ahead and uh, swap on over to my... Uh, what, what's this thing called again, dude? The um, crystal boost, that's what I was gonna say. It's like, I, I knew it was like, it started with the C, but I just forgot what the name was. So, yeah, but uh, I need to go ahead and spawn in my sheep pit as well in order for us to actually get enough mana. So, 2200. Obviously, uh, so we can get up to like 6000 plus as a mage in the dungeons, but uh, for now, we'll try to do 2000 because I did do this. I did like a pack of four of uh, Endermen that attacked me, and then, uh, yeah, 300 mana is not gonna cut it. <laughs> I can tell you that because, uh, yeah. So definitely using this sword as a one-on-one -on -one against a mob, sure. But then if you go up against like a lot that attack you, it is, uh, yes, yeah, I'm going to be good if you don't have enough, like enough mana and stuff. So, and which we'll see if, uh, you know, mana matters or not. And then let me go ahead and wear this one because <laughs> I do not want to waste any mana so far. So, yeah, I can also pearl, but, you know, might as well. And do this instead. And I don't think the Wise Dragon set reduces it either, so it doesn't really matter, to be honest. All right, let's go ahead and start collecting some of these Endermen. So we'll try to get, like, yeah, enough, dude. We'll, we'll try to get enough for sure, so that's one, two. We'll try to get, like, ten, hopefully. 
And then, uh, yeah, I don't think I should die, right? I should be fine. And if I am, oh boy. <laughs> but anyways, let's just go ahead and get a whole bunch, you know? We're just gonna replicate what Dungeon 6 would be like if we were to, go, like, be attacked by a whole bunch of Endermen. So, yeah, alright. Now let's activate, and then let's see how much mana it goes. Yeah, our mana goes down a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it is definitely not gonna... I mean... <laughs> yeah, using this ability that Creeper Veil is not gonna be that great, to be honest with you, dude. I do not even have telekinesis on this thing. Come on, y'all know how do you forget that. As you saw, there was like, well, at least... You know, up to plus 10, maybe. Like, 8 plus, at least, of Enderman right there. And uh, our mana from 2000 went down to 20 real quick. So, yeah, it takes 20% of your maximum mana, which isn't too good. So, that is, uh... Yeah, I would say you only use this uh, when you're gonna like about to die, you know, instead of uh, just waiting till the end of Dungeon 6, let's say for example, or any other ones that have a whole bunch of packs, like Wither Skeletons, like the Floor 7, like during whatever stage, to be honest with you, man, the first and second stage where there's a lot of uh, Wither Mobs, then uh, yeah, and then you also get Bow and Arrowed, you know, on the second stage and first stage a little bit, but mainly the second stage, so... Yeah, I mean, this Creeper Veil, it's only good going up against, like, one-on-one, -on -one, like, mobs and stuff, which, I mean, I wonder if it matters if, um, let's say we were to go up against, like, a strong mob, like a, I don't know, let's just say, like, a giant dungeon mob or whatever, one of the, one of the giants over there, or just, like, a uh, Lost Adventure or something, or even the Shadow Assassin, if the mana will consume a lot, but it is just one thing, like, one mob or whatever, so, and I kind of want to see if it matters at all, to be honest with you, so, what we're gonna do, dude, we are going to spawn ourselves in, you know, just a, yeah, we'll just spawn in a Revenant Horror for now. I don't think it matters, like, on the right side of the mana. I don't think that does anything, but uh, we can take a look if it goes down, like, a lot quicker if I have more mana on the right side. But I'm pretty sure it just takes the mana from the left side, so, yeah. But anyways, let's activate. Hold on. Oh my. Look at this. Okay, so going up against one-on-one, -on -one, I mean, our mana is still going down by a lot, I'm not gonna lie. Look at that thing. Alright, so, yeah, even if you have, like, less mana, so right now, hold on, let's go back to less mana. Let's go down to, like, 200 and see how fast it goes away, so let's just rebuild our mana again. And then, uh, yeah, we'll use it again just to see how it, like, goes or something like that. So, yeah, 200 mana instead, I mean, we're not even going up that fast, dude. Let's see, so if we activate now, yeah, having less mana, dude, that is not good. Yeah, you'll only be, like, resistance for a little bit, but not too much. I mean, yeah, the Revenant Horn definitely attacks us a little bit fast, for sure. And then, uh, yeah, it's attack speed. <laughs> it's definitely, like, up to 100%, dude. Alright, now attack me, you single Enderman. So, 400. And then, uh, yeah, 261. I mean, yeah, even against, like, one... Enderman, dude, our mana still goes down by a lot, so... Creeper Veil, I mean, it's not really that great, if I'm gonna be honest with you. I would still say the OG of the Endstone Sword is a lot better, dude, because you're resisted for 5 seconds, and... Not only that, dude, you can also attack mobs at the same time, so... Yeah, but the Endstone does not work in the dungeons no more, so that is unfortunate. And all you need is 100 mana as well. Or not, dude. I mean, I, I thought you got up to like 100% at 100 mana. No, it was 500 mana. What am I talking about, bro? It was 500 mana. Never mind. I thought it was 100. No, it was uh, 500 when uh, you get 100%, you know, damage resistance and stuff. So, yeah, man. <laughs> that one, the Endstone definitely beats this Creeper Veil. And the Endstone is a lot cheaper than the Creeper Veil. And uh, this thing, the Wither Cloak goes up for like... 3 to 4 mil on the AH, which is in a... It's not too much, you know, that's pretty cheap, I'm not gonna lie. And then, uh, yeah, just for the one ability, the Creeper Veil. I mean, sure, it's cool, it does a little bit of damage with the Creepers around you. But that's just, like, it depends on the weapon that you're holding from what <laughs> I tested before. So if we're holding this, we're doing 700. And then if I hold my Livid Dagger, we do up to 820, but it is a low health. So let's start over. So 696, 700... Alright, so that's the end. Then let's see if uh, we do like 800 with the Creeper Veil real quick. So if we hold this thing out, let's see if we get up to 800. Alright, so I guess it doesn't really matter on what weapon. Maybe before it did a little bit, but uh, eh, I guess I was wrong, dude. Anyway, so that was the, whatchamacallit, the Withered Cloak Sword. I give it like a <laughs> ability-wise, 3 out of 10. It ain't uh, 
it's definitely not worth it for this ability sure it's cool sharing you'll be damage resistance maybe it's better in the dungeons i haven't tried it out but um i'll definitely try it out in a future video for sure i can go ahead and do it right now but if it's just gonna be the same thing as we just tested dude over at the end then uh we don't really have to go into the dungeons but uh yeah man I don't, i'm pretty sure it's not gonna be any different so it's just gonna be the same thing as uh what we just saw here in the overworld so yeah man creeper veil ability <laughs> nope not worth it man you get this i mean i don't i don't know how much it costs in the chest but if it's worth less than like three mil then definitely get in the dungeon and then just resell it on the ah hopefully somebody gets it you can use this sword as a defense sword versus the other sword that uh, you normally get from these guys what's that sword called gives you like a lot of defense as well the earth shard so yeah it's just a little bit of defense actually 280 like hello <laughs> yeah okay so yeah you know if you're like a tank or something or if you just want to get extra defense and then uh, definitely getting yourself this uh wither cloak sword will be good max it out to tier 5 get up to at least like 700 plus defense and depending on your catacomb level you can i don't know maybe even get it up to like a thousand defense with this sword dude if you're like i don't know catacombs 30 or something so yeah man but um yeah so uh eh, wither cloak Nah, I wouldn't get it. <laughs> Did not suggest it unless it is OP in dungeons, but I'll test it out and I'll let you guys know in a future video if it is. But uh, anyways, dude, that's pretty much it for today's video. And uh, this one did not get it. I mean, it's all right. It's cool. You know, I like it. The ability and stuff. You just can't hit other mobs, and then uh, yeah, it, it's kind of cool. And they fly with you, man. They go anywhere you go. They just protect you there your guardians all right before i leave you guys hold on a little quick tip i just realized that if we use the wither cloak and if we go into like the trap room or something like this oh my gosh look at this dude this is it's actually amazing actually dude never mind i give it a 10 out of 10 what am i talking about bro look at this oh my <laughs> yes dude all right so all right that's one good thing about the weather clock dude is that you can use it against like the traps and not even die against them all right i get this thing a 10 out of 10 all right it's a good weapon to use against traps so yeah never mind dude this uh this is actually amazing you guys should uh, definitely get this thing you should 100 percent invest especially if uh you know you, you die a lot <laughs> anyways peace out